Hello everyone, today I'm gonna to go over how to get the Corruptions main staff. There are two ways, both require you to do the main quest line right up into the point where you pick a faction. So option one, click buy rewards when talking to your faction and you can purchase Corruption Bane right here. Once you unlock this section, you'll need a thousand of your faction's tokens and you need to be up to level 20. The other way, again, we're going through the quest line where you have Captain Thorpe's box. You've selected a faction and your first quest is to take on a mission. So the top level are PVE missions, the bottom level are PVP. You only have to select one. You don't actually have to complete it for your quest line to move forward. And eventually we're going to start to see a pattern with these quests and I'll go over it so that really you won't need the rest of the video only unless you get stuck, but I'm gonna throw it all there because I had it. I felt the need to do a wide turn for some reason here, but anyways. So we're gonna complete the quest. And we're taking on Artificer's Creed. So we get the Azoth vessel here. And we haven't quite got to the point where we're doing the Forge and Corruption's Bane quest line. We're getting there. So Everfall Village. And you're going to notice anytime you need to talk to an Artificer that they'll be out front of the Forge area. So find the forge in that town, settlement, sorry, and you're good. So now this is where we start to see the pattern in the quest line. So I'm going to show you how it works. So in theory, you won't need the rest of this video, but I'll be here just in case. The main quest line is called Forging Corruption's Bane, and the task will say complete quest. And then that is the other quest you need to complete. So right now we need to replenish the Azoth vessel. And so that is the quest line we'll follow. And you'll see the Forging Corruption's Bane update as we complete kind of these other quests. So not far from Everfall, we are going to do the Replenish the Azoth Vessel. And what you're gonna notice with all of these quests, it is kill something, loot whatever is on its body, and search chests, sometimes breaks. <laughs> Please forgive me. This is at the beginning of the game. I don't know how to fight even with a hatchet, which should be fairly, you know, pack away for lack of a better turn. Up at the top, if you make all your way up, there's three chests, just throwing that out there. If you make your way through, you'll be granted with these. We're gonna move on to pirated tools. So not far from where we were, and again, just showing you that the Forging Corruption's Bane questline updated. It's now saying do pirate tools, so it's kind of walking you through. So we were right here, and we're going east. And again, there is Everfall. In case you're using timestamps, you have no idea where we just were. And Shocker, you're going to kill things and search things. <laughs> Back to Everfall Village in front of the forge. You're really going to start to see a pattern with these. Talk to our friend. Complete the quest. So we are now west of Everfall Settlement and we're doing the Materia Slag quest. And again, You'll either kill things, or kill things and loot their bodies, or search chests, or search crates. So you'll start to see this pattern in all the quests. And right now, I'm trying to defeat Withered, but I just can't... Need to get a good running start to get up here. You'll notice my hacking is getting slightly better. Zero defense, though. That comes later on. So we are north of Everfall Settlement. 
and we're doing Spark and Flame. The one thing you'll notice is the quest icon above the nameplate of your NPC. So that's really helpful as it's easy to wander off in some locations. So it's just good to keep an eye to make sure you're killing the right things. Monarch's Bluff Village Settlement. And talking to our friend here. So you don't have to accept this. Indigestion is a separate side quest. I accidentally accepted it. So we're just a little northeast of Everfall. Oh, we're, we're adding in some blocks now because I got tired of dying. We're slowly developing skills, but they're still pretty horrid. And eventually I'll click in the fact that my hatchet is blinking red, but minor details. Moving on, we are not far from where we just were at Canary Mine doing the perfect template quest. Great, great talent right here. You're looking at what not to do. <laughs> Windsward Village Settlement, and again, just looking for the artificer in front of the forge. He's a little off uh, to the side, though. Caught on to their games this time. I'm focusing on the main quest, so now we're doing half materials. Again, not too far from Windsward Village. So we are southwest from Windsward Village and again, just searching supply caches and killing things. I'm getting stuck in doorways. This one I found a bit challenging because I was one chest short and you could tell me and this other person were just going through the same things over and over again. But if you go a little further, you'll find one. Just trying to give you some landmarks where handpicked is. I really liked this building. Maybe it's because every other house looks very similar up until this point. We're doing focus relics. Just trying to give you an idea of some landmarks. Not far from Cutlass Key Settlement or Keep First Light. And I'm dying. So again, kill the things, search the things. It's pretty straightforward. It's more so if you're getting lost and you don't know what quest or where to go, that I'm just continuing to post this. We are at First Light Village Settlement. This is where you're going to find Artificer Kim. Okay. 
And so now we're gonna do some corruption tinctures. So I'm gonna destroy my old camp and I'm going to build one. We're same settlement, we just went outside. And we're doing tier two camps now. And you can see that we have the ability to do this corruption tincture. So we need berries and water in order to craft this. So I'll show you where to find these. So again, not far from where we just were, you have bushes, but then you have a berry bush. And then we have the well that you can pull water up from. And if you're doing a quest in a little village and there's a well, try pulling it up. You might actually find some things in there. Or you can go to a river and get water that way. Moving on. So we're doing the old acquaintance quest and we are far, not far from Windsward Village heading west. Now I was heading to this area right here and I seen this red beam and went towards it instead. And turns out that's where I needed to go. Don't do what I just did. So the tincture works not as a proactive, preventative measure. It works more like healing. So you're going to want to wait until the corruption resistance goes down and then use it. Anyways, I don't want to spoil the rest of that one. You'll find the captain in the center. So moving on to ornate crook fragments. So some interesting things to note if you're struggling with this one. You can climb. You can aggro everything and climb. And then they'll just leave. They'll get bored of you. So just some tactics for this one. <laughs> climb on things to avoid things. They also don't like water or to go down in. Oh. So they'll hover and they'll come close, but they won't go in. It's like a barrier. So and just another FYI if you're struggling. So we're back at Windsward Village. And not far from the forge. Talk to our friend. And we've officially hit level 20. Now, I couldn't figure out where the staff was. I was looking for it in my inventory. Turns out it's not, like it's already equipped. So if you look at the top right hand side where you know you're mining and axe and all that it's just there so you just have it so now you can do your breaches and close portals and you have what you need thank you so much for tuning in i really hope it was somewhat helpful that if you were stuck i helped in some way feel free to follow subscribe find me on instagram twitter and all that fun stuff and i don't know guys maybe see you around